Hello, and this is a video review for Transformers The Last Night Premiere Edition Deluxe Class Drift. So, first of all, we'll take a quick look at the box. There's the front. There's the back. The underneath. The side, the other side, and the top. So here starting in vehicle mode, uh, drift is actually quite nice. Uh, his colour scheme has changed from, um, from blue to red and black. Um, and his vehicle mode is pretty nice. Uh, I don't actually know what vehicle mode this is, but he is uh, a Mercedes of some sort. Uh, and it's a nice looking car. I know his previous mode was a helicopter because he was a triple changer. His previous mode was a helicopter uh, and a Bugatti Veyron. So um, I don't know why he's changed his appearance and his vehicle form. Um, maybe he just wanted a change, maybe we'll get an explanation in the film, maybe not. But it's, overall it's a nice vehicle. Um, you've got a Autobot symbol at the top there. Um, the wheels are clipped on, they're not pinned on. He rolls pretty nicely actually, it's not too bad. Um, got the Mercedes logo at the front there. Some paint on the headlights. Some details, some red detailing paint along the side here. That's the same on the other side. Got the spoiler at the back. There is a very faint Mercedes logo just above my thumbnail there. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, and underneath what he looks like is this. You can basically tell he's a robot, so if that bothers you... Um, then this might not be the figure for you, but you know, um, it's I don't mind it too much personally, um, actually, because you don't really display the figure like that. If it was car mode, you'd normally display it like that rather than this, so that sort of thing doesn't bother me too much. But yeah, it's a nice vehicle mode. Um, now I believe he is a slight retool. And the car parts uh, here for this vehicle mode are new, but I believe the kind of skeletal frame um, of the figure is uh, the same as the Age of Extinction version. Now, um, I probably wouldn't have got this figure if I'd got the Age of Extinction Age of Extinction version, but I unfortunately did not get that figure. But you know, overall, it's not too bad. I mean, there there are some points here which don't, you know, kind of line up properly. Well, they line up properly. They just kind of, I don't know if you can see, but there's kind of some, like, gaps going through the whole vehicle mode. Again, that might just be my figure, but I don't know. It might, it, it might be the same for all of them, but, it, you know, it's not, it's a small complaint there. Uh, but overall, not a bad vehicle mode at all. It's pretty good. So let's get into the transformation. One thing I forgot to mention is he can actually store his swords in vehicle mode. Um, he can store the small swords and the big swords underneath the car. And he can also store the small swords in the back here. Um, but I'll talk more about that in robot mode. So to transform this guy, basically what you want to do is you want to come to the back here, take this section and fold it up like so. You want to come to the side, take this panel, bring it out. Same on the other side, bring this panel out like that. You can then go ahead and take these panels and fold them up. The hands or the arms rather haven't already come out of the sides, bring them out. 
take this section, pop it up like so, and bring the legs out like that, split them, fold the feet down, then take the shoulders, and what you want to do here is just bring them out on a little hinge at the top there. Then for all this that's on his back, you want to take this piece. This piece will fold up like that. This whole section will come untabbed, fold up, and then this piece will swivel round like that. And then you just tidy that up there. And then this whole section, there's a little hole um, just in there that will go on to this tab here. So you put that on there like that. And there he is in robot mode. So looking at this figure's details in the robot mode, you can see he's got a really nice head sculpt, and I believe this head sculpt is actually different to the uh, Age of Extinction version. Um, he's got a nice Mercedes logo on his chest there, nice sculpting um, throughout the chest. Uh, I do wish the chest had got some more details picked out on it with some paint, but it's not too bad, I guess. Um, nice details here. It's got a bit of black paint on his leg here and here uh, but the detail is pretty good um, it's not perfect obviously but it's not too bad um, he's got some uh, kind of this kind of detail here on the uh, flap here that folds up to become the top of his arm um, he does unfortunately suffer from a lot of um, car kibble hanging off of his back but, you know, what can you do? It, it, it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it might, but, yeah, it, it could have been better. Um, and again, kind of on the legs there, there's a few car parts that you can clearly see. But his head sculpt is really good. I like his head sculpt. He does not have any light piping. He's just got solid black plastic. Um... So he can't, his eyes look a little bit dead. Um, I kind of wish they'd painted his eyes. But, you know. Um, there's the, some details on his arm there as well. So yeah, the detail on this guy is, uh, is pretty good. As I mentioned earlier, he does come with some accessories. He comes with two big grey swords and two little grey Daggers. Now, when I got these uh, grey dagger pieces out of the package, this, the kind of blade of the thing was kind of bent really badly warped one way. It was the same for both of them. Um, so what I did, I did the hot water trick uh, and then put them in cold water to straighten them out and that, that's worked fine. But it's just something for you to be aware of. Um, I, on For me, these little daggers were bent out of shape pretty bad, so... Just something to be aware of. Now these little uh, daggers, they can go behind here. They kind of slot into the back of him here and kind of become like a little thing behind his head. And you can see them uh, here. His bigger swords, he can hold them. And yeah, he doesn't look too bad. Now for articulation for this figure, uh, his wrists go kind of in and out due to the transformation. They don't rotate at the, at the wrist, but they do kind of fold that way that much and out that much. Um, his elbow has a, a nice ratchet and a bend at the elbow. It goes about 90 degrees, just a, I'd say a little bit over. 90 degrees. Uh, there is also a swivel there as well at the elbow. His shoulder has a swivel um, and a hinge. It looks like it's ratcheted at the at the shoulder but it's not. But that goes out in and out like that. Same on the other side. 
His head is on a ball joint, I believe. Yeah, it's on a ball joint. Um, and can look down, can look up that much, and it can go from side to side pretty well. No problems there. Um, and I think his head has got enough articulation in it. Yes, it probably could have been better or more so, but I think for this figure, I think that's fine. Um, I'm not too... I'm not too uh, worried about the amount of articulation in his head. I think what he's got in his head is good enough. Um, for his legs, he has in and out at the hips, forward and back. Um, he does not have a waist swivel. He has a bend at the knee, a bend at the other knee. Um, his knees can go a little bit forward as well. Not much, just very slightly forward just due to the transformation. You can kind of move his feet as well forward like that. You can kind of get a little bit of a movement there in his foot. Um, and that's pretty much it. But you can get him into some pretty decent poses. I, wasn't, I wouldn't say he's super posable, but he's posable enough, um, I think. So my final thoughts about this figure is, yeah, it's actually pretty good. If you didn't get the previous drift, um, I'd recommend picking this one up. Um, I do have a lot of problems with the price of it, though. The price of this was uh, £24.99, uh, so £25, all but a penny, from uh, Argos. And, yeah, the price is a really big issue. Um, I'm not going to be getting a lot of the uh, last night figures purely for that reason alone. Um, a lot of them are repaints, uh, this one being one of them, but it is a bit of a retool as well, but um, I did, like I say, I didn't get the previous drift, so um, I did kind of want this one. Uh, but the price is a really big issue. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not crazy about the price. Uh, I don't know how much this guy would re retail for in the US, um, I guess ba basing it on the what I paid for this, so I paid about twenty five pounds for this, so that would be about uh, thirty US dollars. So that you know, it is a lot of money for a deluxe figure, and the deluxes have got smaller um, and so on. But you know, if you if you can afford it, I guess he's worth picking up. Um, but yeah, I think these transformers now have got to a ridiculous price. Um, I'm going to be totally honest. Um, but yeah, it, uh, but price aside, he's a really good figure. Um, if you, like I say, if you didn't get the previous drift and you can afford it, the price doesn't bother you. I think he's great. Um, if you can get him on clearance, you know, or the pri redu price reduction, because I'm pretty sure these last night figures, when the movie's done and, you know, had its last screenings and so on, um, these figures will drop dramatically in price. Uh, and you'd probably be able to get this guy for around £15, I would have thought. And I think at £15, he's an absolute steal. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's a pretty good figure. Um, there are some slight issues with him that I've mentioned. But overall, he's pretty good. So, I hope you've enjoyed this review. Thank you very much for watching. And see you later. Bye.